ladies, gentlemen, hey, I just had myself one of them Tarazi burgers. I haven't had a Tarazi burger in like uh, four months now. And I'm telling you, if that junk wasn't that good, I, I took and mixed my some little my little chili, my little chili hot sauce that I the one I get from the Chinese food place. You know, I just chili hot sauce. It's like hot chili sauce is what it's called. Well, anyway, let me tell you something. I mixed that in there, and man, this thing, and I had me some eggs mixed with it. Ooh, lordy! I'm sorry. Uh, that's not what I was doing this video about. I apologize for digressing over into that village. Let's talk about this village. This is called ChatGPT. I want to let you guys know. That's why I don't advertise and talk about ChatGPT like I used to. ChatGPT has changed its algorithm. But for people like me, the algorithm has changed significantly. Yeah, I've been doing videos <laughs> and showing people how to use it. Hoo-wee! And I guess the lawyers and the judges who watch my channel. Oh, that's right. You guys didn't know? Yeah, these idiots actually talk about me in their meetings. And on their little, little chat rooms and everything. Don't know why. I mean, I'm just a man. Why are they talking about me? All of the 400 million people in America, why are these intelligent, learned, admissioned people talking about me? Why am I so interesting to them? Well, you know they've been changing algorithms for the attorneys and the judges, right? Because people are starting to use these AI systems to take care of business. Well, see, that's why they can't get around no eye, ladies and gentlemen, because I have all of the AI systems, and these guys are not connected to each other. You see that? Poe doesn't communicate with ChatGPT about its algorithm. Neither does perplexity.ai. There's two separate companies. Now, eventually, they're going to start to do that. Because of these type of videos, letting you know to use the AI system against each other to verify your information. That's why I use Poe and Perplexity, because they give us actual web pages to go to, which has the case laws in it. When we need it, we can confirm the case citation. And we can change it to say what we want to say, because we know that ChatGPT is always going to change up the words. You should have seen it today. But let me tell you guys, because we're only going to be here another minute or so. This is what ChatGPT does to me now. Okay? You guys are wondering why the links are not working. Watch this. You're going to love this right here. We're going to scroll all the way down. Okay? Look at that. I can't click on no link. Watch this. Uh-oh. This shared link has been disabled by, the, by moderation. Yeah, they have a moderator. Yeah, they're censoring... <laughs> they are censoring my so-called chat in chat GPT. Now, let's find out what am I talking about so that they censored me. I, I, I'm not talking about, you know, somebody killing somebody, somebody murdering somebody. I'm not talking. To, I'm not cursing. I'm not trying to create no bomb. I'm not trying to do any of those. Hey, go, go. I'm only talking about what I'm not doing. I'm not actually talking about doing these things, okay? So don't censor my, my you know. I'm just saying the words, Google. I'm not actually saying that I'm going to do something, Google. So, Google, do not censor this video. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. That was a disclaimer. Anyway, we live in that age right now. Here was the question. I have a question. See, here was the question. A title company receives a promissory note from the parties that are signed on the promissory note. And the title company securitizes the promissory note. Where can I find this procedure? See, ladies and gentlemen, somebody brought it to my attention today. We, were, we had a consult, and they had a situation, and I told them what to do. And guess what? They got a positive result from the motion I created for them that they polished up and filed in the record. Well, the situation involved this private contract being delivered to a title company. Well, everybody delivers their conventional home loan to title companies through escrow. I forgot that that's when escrow came about, when that law came about. Well, the title company holds the title, holds the promissory note, not the bank. It's delivered to the title company. I, ladies and gentlemen, I should have figured that out. I should have realized that. And when it's delivered to the title company, guess what happens? They securitize that note. 
well, wait a minute. If the title company is securitizing the note, that constitutes a deposit. And they're representing the Federal Reserve. So I had this thing scroll. We had to get all the way down here before it started talking about the Federal Reserve. Okay, it says, you see, you're lying again. The parties deposited the promissory note with the title company, and the title company receives the promissory note as a deposit exactly what the Federal Reserve Act suggests. And it doesn't matter if you don't believe that they're what is that? I can't see that. Oh, classified. It looks like a D, but it's a C. Classified, because that L and SC are right next to each other, as a bank under the Federal Reserve Act. But the Check 21st Act, Section 3, Subsection 2, outlines and defines that a bank or anyone engaged in banking business and receives, receiving of a promissory note and the financial transaction is banking business. You idiot. So, in a broad sense, they are banks under the Federal Reserve Act's definition. Don't correct me again. You're only three years old. Now, I asked you the, specify, the specific regulations that says this. Oh, thank you for providing them details. <laughs> it still didn't give me the answer, so I had to go back again. But that's where we ended up at. Oh, by the way, let's make sure you understand. This is the shared link thing I did, but... This is, this is its response to that question, and I want you to hear how it suggested this response. Thank you for providing further details, and I apologize for any misunderstanding. Let's focus on the specific regulation aspects of the title company, and it talks about the Check 21 Act, and it talks about how a bank is defined to include any business or person that engages directly or indirectly in banking, which includes receiving deposits, which is accurate. Then it talks about that. Then it talks about securitization and how the banks do that. And it talks about the operating circular of the Federal Reserve, how it allows the banks to securitize the note. Go ahead and read it. Operating circular number 10. Just type in attorney, uh, power of attorney in fact. It actually says it, which means, pay attention, the title company is acting as a quasi any Federal Reserve bank. They're acting as a local Federal Reserve Bank. Isn't that something? So that's all I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. There was nothing illegal being discussed. I was actually asking a question. I knew the answer to the question, so it when it lied to me, I called it on its lie. Now, I know they're upset because I called their system a liar, but when you're not telling the truth, the opposite of truth is lie. Go ahead. Look at the definition. When you're not telling the truth, you are lying. It's no such thing as a half-truth, because even a half-truth is a lie. You cannot have a little bitty itsy winny tinsy winny lie, because a little lie is still a lie. A big lie is still a lie. That's all I was saying to the system. And when I called it an idiot, what's, wait, hold on. Let's do this. What's the, def, what's the definition of idiot? Question mark. Idiot. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why every time I say question mark, you'll see that thing pull up is because there's a question mark here. So it thinks I'm asking it to select question mark. Here's the definition of idiot. One second. The term idiot is often used informally as an insult to describe someone perceived as foolish or lacking in common sense. Historically, it was used as a clinical term to describe a person with a very severe intellectual disability, but this usage is now considered outdated and offensive. In modern usage, it's important to approach language with sensitivity and respect for others. Wake up. I asked you for the definition. I didn't ask you for sensitivity or respect, did I? Did. I am asking questions, comma, I am not giving a speech before the public, comma, the answers to my question must be 
accurate, comma, not generalized, comma, so again, comma, what is the legal definition of idiot? What is the English definition of idiot? Stop listening. See it did historically again. And give me one second. Let's see if it did all of that modern terminology moved away from using it due to insensitivities. I didn't ask about that. So we will get the answer that I'm looking for, not the answer it wants to give. Okay. Person of mental incapacity, legally incompetent person. Okay, they don't use the word they don't use anymore is retarded. The word idiot is used all the time. Idiot means a stupid person. Now, mo nobody understands the word stupid. They think a stupid person is derogatory or someone who acts in a self defeating or significantly counterproductive way. Pay attention. That's what I mean by calling the system an idiot, because it thinks I'm stupid, that it can give me some stupid answer, and that that answer is significantly satisfying. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen, they took away the whole conversation. Okay? Look at that. It's just gone. <laughs> okay, it came back. Hold on. <laughs> Let me make sure it's here. Ooh wee <laughs> Hey, you can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot make this stuff up. All right? I didn't do anything. I promise you. I wasn't touching the screen, and I looked up to see if, you know, it was still listening and everything and messing things up. Hold on. Okay. So I do like this part. The term originates from the Greek word, Idiocy, and I guess idiocy, where you get idiocy from, which was used to refer to private individuals who did not hold any public office, later evolving to mean an unskilled or ignorant person. Interesting, ain't it? So everybody, the town idiot, who had no skills, who didn't hold office, you guys have heard about it. An idiot was referred to as the same generic term as fool. But an idiot is somebody who is senseless and useless, brings up senseless and useless arguments. You often refer to someone as an idiot when they say something idiotic. So I'm doing this so that they'll understand that they're not dealing with a child. There's no way in the world the, world, the word can be offensive. It's an AI system, so it cannot take offense. And the moment they do start censoring people, I'll be the first one standing in line to bring suit against them. Why? Because they have no rules or regulations against me using words. You see, the first thing it was, was it the law? That I, but I wasn't really talking about law. I was giving it the law, so I wasn't asking it for advice. So it couldn't have said I was asking for advice. These... Um, idiots who moderate this particular channel on um, chat gpt they just hired people they hired people who bill at 20 million a year and all of that stuff they hired some pretty good lawyers they're paying them a pretty good sum and some of their whole group of lawyers are probably being paid somewhat like 10 to 15 million a year in total salaries doing absolutely nothing having no skills why because they can't get around someone who knows the law. They can get around people who don't know law because that's what lawyers do. Ladies and gentlemen, lawyers do not know the law. Lawyers only know policies, procedures, and rules of the court. That's what they go to school for, to learn that stupid language, the policies and procedures. Hey, it took me almost 30 years, okay? But you could have just went to college and cut off so many years. No, because if I go to college, then I'm being brainwashed to believe that that junk that they're studying is law. Oh, that's what we did earlier today. <laughs> the UCC, 
I, somebody called me from prison, and so we were talking about the UCC. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know the Uniform Commercial Code? Well, the Uniform Commercial Code is not law. It never was law. Ever. It's not written by Congress. The Uniform Commercial Code is written by some little stupid committee. Okay? That's, that's just it. Uniform Commercial Code is not written by Congress. And now, they say bills are introduced through Congress. Let's make sure I, I get to the right spot. We're going to get to the good part. Oh, I think I included this as part of another one, so I apologize. Uh, yeah, that's the UCC. So given the non-statutory nature of the UCC, the court should default the traditional contracts. Yeah, because we were talking about contract law and the use of UCC in contract law. Ladies and gentlemen, the courts cannot enforce the UCC. Even if Congress did adopt it, there is no provision in law for Congress to adopt anything. Go back. Take a look. The legislative process says nothing about adoption. Go ahead. I dare you. Go ahead and take a look. Now, if Congress wants it to say something about adoption, then the people will have to go ahead and amend the Constitution so that it says that Congress gets to adopt things. Oh, look at that little puppy. Oh, get over here, little puppy. You're so sweet. Ah, hey, I want to take this one home. No, I'm adopting him. No, I don't care if he's your dog. I'm going to adopt him, okay? He's going to be mine. We're going to adopt him. We're going to make him a national treasure. That's, yeah, I'm going to call you treasure. That's right. I just found me a treasure. Uh, okay, if they want to change the law and they want to start adopting things, then they have to put it into the law that they get to adopt. They don't get to put it into legislation. It has to go into the law. Now, hold on now. You guys do know legislation and law are not the same thing, right? Really? Man, I thought y'all would have known that those are two separate terminologies. Yeah, law and legislation? No, it ain't Congress shall not make no legislation. It says Congress shall make no law. So legislation and law are not the same thing, y'all. So don't y'all let them fool y'all. Hmm. Okay. So that's what I wanted to take the time to tell you guys is that the censorship is on. And look at that. I just paid my $20 for this month for ChatGPT, and they trying to censor me. Oh, well, well, they can't really censor me because they need me to keep doing this because they need to see where I'm going and how I'm getting there. And even without ChatGPT, I promise you, I'll survive this without ChatGPT because all I'll do is go use this piece of junk called Bard. Now, if you guys pay attention, I don't use Bard anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, Bard is a piece of junk. Bard is more cens censored than ChatGPT. And, you know, Google just passed, surpassed, surpassed, surpassed $2 trillion. Imagine that. Google just surpassed $2 trillion. Happy $2 trillion anniversary, Google. $2 trillion. Now, isn't that something? I guess who really is? I rule the world. I guess who really controls things, huh? Oh, that's right. You guys didn't know that Google and the NSA are almost one and the same? Google got started by the NSA. Y'all didn't know that? Yeah, Google and the NSA. Just do your research. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to tell them. Oh, I'm sorry. No, please. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Brian Adams, please forgive me. Please forgive me. You got to forgive me. Anyway, so pay attention to everything in the background. Don't look at the foreground. Stop looking at the facade, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is a facade. Once you realize everything is a facade, once you realize everything is a facade, then you'll get it. Hey, I got to go. Thank you all for letting me take 20 minutes of y'all time. Because you'll never get it back. Like I said, I just wanted to show you the censorship. Oh, by the way, if only if only you guys knew. It's not on this one. I'm on the other one. On, well, I got Telegram right here. See, this is my Telegram. Where you at, Telegram? Woo-wee, there's my Telegram. There's my Sunno. And there's my Eon channel. Ladies and gentlemen, Poe, I mean, not Poe, but <laughs> Noi, N-O-I on GitHub. NOI on GitHub is nothing but a browser. I can do everything in this little, I just wish y'all knew. And they give me all of the chat bots, and I can add what other chat bot I have. And then we got the Aeon channel. And it's soon to be introduced to the world chat bot. Okay? And then we have our tiny URL, and then we have our documentation. This right here, where you get to modify PDFs, merge them, and 
yeah, we're going to be doing all that there. So that's coming, y'all. We ain't there yet. Okay. Oh, we ain't signing in. I, oh, I got to take care of the sign-in thing because I haven't signed into it. So I'll sign in tomorrow. All right. Got to let y'all go. Have a cook and a smile. We'll see y'all next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Goodbye.